and the need more utility vehicles to compete in America. This year, the German automaker will land a one-two punch in the utility segment with a new Tiguan. And we're going to have, first, a new three-row crossover SUV that's made here in America. Hi, I'm Joel Fetter here at the 2016 Los Angeles Auto Show with your first look at the new 2018 Volkswagen Atlas. If this new Volkswagen looks familiar, that's because it's heavily based on the cross blue concept from a few years ago. There's quite a bit of Grand Cherokee in the design if you squint a bit. A horizontal grille and headlights, big fender bulges that act like shoulders, and a horizontal rear dominate the design. Inside, well, it looks like a slightly updated Passat. It's nothing to write home about, but it's functional. Key among crossover SUVs is their functionality, and the Atlas has a slew of cup holders, a folding second row and third row seat, and lots of space. An in-dash digital instrument cluster seems like an adaptation of Audi's virtual cockpit interface. An Apple CarPlay, along with Android Auto, will be available. Buyers will have a choice between a turbocharged 2-liter inline-4 with 230 horsepower or a 280 horsepower 3.6-liter V6, and both are connected to an 8-speed automatic transmission. Front-wheel drive will be standard and selectable all-wheel drive will be available, but you'll have to opt for the V6 engine to get that. Active and passive safety equipment will be optional, including forward collision warnings and automatic emergency braking, along with Volkswagen's suite of adaptive cruise control, lane keep assist, and blind spot monitors. Pricing and fuel economy have not been released yet, but the new Atlas will hit dealer showrooms in the second quarter of 2017. Reporting here from the 2016 Los Angeles Auto Show, I'm Joel Fetter.
Thank you.